All right, so we finished our main local directories or citations. We have the Google My Business, Bing, Yelp, the 14 other local directories that are high authority finished. And we've checked you know, that our client's information is correct. Well, what about all the other directories out there, right? Because like an initial setup, we're gonna wanna do 30 or 50 of these citations. Where do we find all these other platforms to add our client's information? Also to check if, if they're already on those platforms, um, and if their if their information is correct or not, well, we have to do a scan. Now, this is the command center that all you guys are going to have access to. Um, it is something that uh, is a third party software. We don't do not own it, but we worked out a deal with the person who created the software to give you guys, I think, thirty or sixty days for free to use. Um, when you get get our program, and then after that's pretty cheap. I think it's like twenty or thirty dollars a month. Um, but I'm going to show you guys in this software how to do a scan, and then I'll also show you other ways that that are are free. Um, but let me show you this first because it just so, makes life so easy, and you're really going to want to dig into this command center uh, because we use it every day, not only for the citation scan. Uh, we use it for reporting and just just a lot of stuff that we use in our agency. It's a really, really, really great tool. So let's call this report, you know, Colorbright Painting. It's a business, the name. So since we're scanning the internet, you know, we want to put in just the regular name. We won't put Long Island because we know that there are no citations with color bright painting of long island because we haven't created them yet so if there's anything that's going to be out there it's going to be just um color bright painting and then the city is going to be green lawn okay send me an email when this is done and then let's see any category okay we're going to schedule the report all right so it takes a couple of minutes so there's a for the report to kind of process right so while we're waiting for it to process let's look at a couple of different ways that we could find out where our clients information is all right so while we're waiting for that report to be generated uh you know the whole idea of getting these local directories and citations like we talked about is getting links back to our site making sure all the information for our client is everywhere it needs to be when someone is searching for their service Another thing is, is the more information about our client that's out there, the better chance they have of ranking in, say, the three-pack right here, you know, when someone types in Long Island Painter. Now, um, say you don't have any software to look up citations, you know, how can you find out what are the best local directories out there to put your client's info on for free? Well, it's pretty easy. Um, it's pretty easy. It's a little bit more labor intensive, but you could definitely do it. So what we do is we go and we look at these directories and we find like the top guys, right? So we have Long Island Painters, Long Island Painter Inc., right? Like these two are like, and then Painter Works and Decorating, you know, these guys are the, the ranking the best. So how did they get there, right? Well, what we can do is we can actually backtrack what they've done. Right, we can actually go and look at, you know, where is their information, and then put our client's information in the same place. So, how do we do that? Well, it's a simple search string that we put in to Google. So, it just goes in quotes. You put the business name, so that'd be this one right here. Let's say Long Island Painter. Right, we would put that in quotes. Then we would put the zip code in quotes that we would find right here. And then finally, we would put uh, right here, minus site um, colon and then the site name. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull up all the different places that um, the number one ranking ranking Google My Business and also, you know, probably website is, you know, where their information is. And we can go ahead and make sure that our client is in there. So, you know, we have Manta already, BuzzFeed, but here's one like Paint Pro LI. <clears throat> so what this is showing us is just showing us like where their information is. And you may able to put, 
be able to put your information. It doesn't look like this is a citation or a directory. It looks like that this is just a website, right? So uh, that's not going to work, but we see here yellow pages. All right, here we go. Top certified painters in Suffolk County. All right, so we could kind of look here and see if there's a way to put our client's info you know on this site like is there a way that we can do that without having to pay right so we could contact that site so all this is is just going out and looking at where our competitors have their information right here's another one you know and we won't be able to put them on every one of these sites but there's a good chance that we can get them on a majority of those sites and these are going to be really good local directory links that our competitors are using right so we can go through and we could actually go through the search engine right and we could just start compiling a bunch of different areas and we can do this for each of our competitors right so we can go through to the second result the third result right like so we can do it for uh, this person this person this person this person if we want now again this is labor intensive um, I'll show you some sites that you can actually pay that they have software that does all this for you. Um, but you know, if you're on a budget, you don't want to pay anything. This is a great way to go out and find those citations. So let's go back right now. Um, and let's open this up. It looks like our command center is finished. So let's see if we can view results. All right. So here we go. So now what this is doing, it's it's showing us the results, and you know, obviously where we you know we can still put some of the information. So there's 142 locations here um, where we can put our clients' info. Right, and the other thing you can do with the citation scanners, again, you could put your your competitors' information in here and see which citations they have. Uh, and then just copy them by using this um, by using the command center. So this is a really, really powerful tool that will save you a lot of time. And really, you just to create listing, you hit the button, create listing, and it takes you over to where you can sign up and start creating a listing. And and this is all pretty much self-explanatory. You know, once you start doing it, um, you know, you'll be able to knock these out pretty easily. As long as you have, again, your profile sheet and that, um, your profile sheet and the information. Um, so you have the profile sheet and you have the folder with all the images that you're going to need. Now, if you want to go for another, this is a paid service um, and they they have, and there are other sites that you could use uh, to scan for citations that are really good bright local uh, bright local is really good it they give you a 14 day free trial you don't even have to put your credit card in but they are a little pricey after that but they have a really good google my business local citation scanner and competitor analysis they'll actually take the top five competitors i believe or four or five competitors for your keyword and they'll line your client's business up and they'll line all of the these uh, companies up in a grid and you could see you know which citations they have and which citations they have in common it's a really pretty good tool um, but again if you want if you guys want to do that you can try the 14-day trial it's pretty self-explanatory um, how to use it all right, guys, so that's it for the local citations. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to just show you uh, how you can outsource this pretty, pretty easily and pretty inexpensively. All right, we'll see you then.